it's Katie. If you know anything about me, it's that I love to travel. So, today I'm sharing the best tips, tricks, and life hacks to help you save money, time, and have a much smoother vacation. This is a collab with the lovely Ella Mae who's doing perfect travel makeup, so don't forget to check out her channel down below. This first hack is basic, but there's a reason why it's so popular. Rolling your clothes is so easy, and it's much more convenient to pack last minute clothes. Not to mention, you can roll two items like socks and underwear together. If your luggage is always overflowing, you are not looking in the right places. Whether it's an empty camera bag or a pair of boots, I'm sure you could fit something in there to maximize space. If you have a trolley, pack all your heavy items in the bottom near the wheel so when it stands, it has a much sturdier foundation. Come travel day, wear long pants with lots of pockets. Trust me, it will save you because you'll be all over the place. Hate filling up forms? Unfortunately, the airport has a lot of those, so it will be super handy to bring your own pen because everybody else will be lining up to use those public chained ones. If your bag is almost overweight, wear all your heaviest clothes to the airport or hand carry them. And don't forget to add a ribbon or a little special something to your luggage so you can easily identify it at the baggage carousel. And while you're checking in, ask for a fragile sticker because apparently your bags are handled better and it comes out first. I got two money saving tricks for you, both have to do with changing currencies. When you're traveling to a different country with a different currency, it's better to exchange money in your home country for preferential or better rates. The same thing applies to buying plane tickets. In this example, this guy saved almost $500 by changing his country from the US to Brazil. I learned this on my own, but when you're at the security checkpoint, you don't actually have to remove your laptop from your case. You just have to remove your case from your backpack. And I was good to go. It's boarding time. Did you know that your seat had a bendable flap where you could lean your head on? If you already dislike airplane food, the last thing you'd want is to get the last remaining meal. To avoid this, don't buy back seats because they are served food last. The best time to use the bathroom is right when you board the plane or right when the seatbelt sign is turned off for landing because there's usually 15 minutes leeway before any significant motion. And don't worry, you can't get locked because you can access the lock from the outside. Don't like turbulence? Sit next to the wing. Touchdown! You actually don't want to try to make yourself at home and unpack everything because the more you unpack, the more you'll have to pack later on. And there's a much higher chance of misplacing and losing things. Tech savvies! Don't use the Maps app. Google Maps is so much better for navigation. Guys, if you have a Chinatown, the tours are so cheap. I went from a $190 tour to a $35 tour. And even though it may come at the cost of not understanding the tour guide because they are speaking in Mandarin, if you're in an English-speaking country, chances are you can find someone to translate it for you, which is what I did because our driver and tour guide actually spoke English. If you'd like free stuff, hotels restock a lot of toiletries every day including shampoos, tissue, conditioner, so you should stash your unfinished toiletries away so the hotel will give you more and that way you can continue using your unfinished one while getting more free stuff. And finally, try to poo and do your toilet duties at night or in the morning so they don't disrupt your day plans and it's super inconvenient to try to find a bathroom which might not even be sanitary. There you go, super helpful life hacks. Aloha! It's it's Katie and as you can see I'm in the middle of the road because I am traveling. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and let's see if we can get it to 650 likes. Subscribe down below to join the Alohana. We officially set a subscriber goal of 50,000 subscribers. Add me on Snapchat for live updates which will disappear in 24 hours so go scan me here for the language swap. Shout out to all my Filipino viewers. Maraming salamat po. Mahal ko kayo. Bye! So it would be awesome if you could share my channel with your friends or just a specific video that you think they might find helpful. 